right, so Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind. You cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbullah ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbullah in the corner of Islam Mahachev. Islam Mahachev has graced the octagon. He's ready to fight. This guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov's strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. I can't hold me down, but Just it's okay, it it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. Uh -huh. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Herbert Dean's in the building, he's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we go with Islam Makashev and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Makashev told us in our last fighter meeting that they could have charged a pay-per-view price for the scoring sessions between these two, and good on the UFC for getting this fight together. I mean, you know it was a hard fight to put together because these guys are broke, but they are they have skill sets that are so similar that you know this is going to be a chess match at the highest level. Both of these guys are tremendous rushers. Both have great cardio. Both have really, really high-level striking. Let's see who's going to be willing to take the first step backwards because I think that will dictate who gets the job. Lands to the body there. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Great timing on that ball. Got his guard pass. Makashev's looking to pass out of the half guard, and it's... Guys, trying to get a guard here. That doors is tight. Transition. Big ground and pump. 
Khabib's now looking for a Darce choke. Oh my goodness, that Darce choke is very tight. Struggling to finish. show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Second round here. Rips the body there. That shot blocked by Islam Akash. Medops. I am starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. All right, setting up for a finish here. That is tight. Trouble that looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. No, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Absolutely relentless when it comes to the ground and pound. Now working the body. Nice job by Islam Makashi. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Oh, the submission defense holds up again. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some different submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that before. the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Islam Akashi. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. How in the world did he escape that submission? And he will let his opponent stand up here. The seconds winding down in round two. Oh. Two rounds in the books.
Beautiful round. He definitely won that round. All right, let's get you some pictures from that previous round, DC. A lot of good work with the ground and pound strike. Yeah, he was able to control posture, get himself postured up, land big ground and pound as he ended the round. What a great finish to a fantastic... You ready to fight? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Lands a big elbow there. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Islam Kasha. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Tries to work it into a takedown. Nice job. Just over three minutes to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. on point with that jab today. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. Oh, he missed with that right hand. No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. of round three. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Taken down by Islam Makasha. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the... All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. Going in the fight. It's a right hand. Submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. He's got choke. There it is. Oh, he got out. He did a great job of getting his hips away, getting back to his back in order to defend that Darce choke. Nice. Nicely done. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He heard him again. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, how about the accuracy of the land right there? His opponent. 
opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Working out of that southpaw stance. Another big kick out. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Lakashev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. He's got Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Finds himself out and safe. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in the... Oh, another submission attempt by him now. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Oh, he got out again. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Nirmanko Medox back in half court. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able... So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to the... You ready to fight? You ready? Go. Fifth and final round. Him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nermago Meta. Timing and precision on point. Another punch lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh! Back to his feet. Range with that one. He's hurt again. Makashev swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. That hurt bad. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long. Oh, could get a finish here. Looks like a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. the chin here. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot. Gets the win by way of submission. That after party's going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch. And it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Darce choke, Habib the Eagle, Nirmago Meta. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nirmago Meta. Have you heard it there from Buff? He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. When you're having to grapple, with Habib Nurmagomedov and spend extended periods of time on the ground, you're constantly under duress. You're constantly in danger. And Habib finds his position, gets a submission victory that he wanted so badly, and truly 
propels himself towards the top of his division. And he said he might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight. But you hear us talk about the path of least resistance. Dramago Medov took it tonight, and he gets it done by submission. 